This video right here, I'm gonna show you how to change the transmission fluid. This is a manual transmission for a 2003 Ford Ranger. On the side of the transmission, on the left-hand side, driver's side, there's gonna be two uh, plugs. One's gonna say fill, one's gonna say drain. Pretty straightforward. Um, these ones right here take a 24 millimeter bolt. That's what I, 24 millimeter ratchet or um, socket or wrench, whatever you prefer whichever one you find easier. I went ahead and cracked them open just to make it easier. That way also I know they're gonna open. To change this fluid, um, it's gonna be a automatic transmission fluid. So a Dextron. In a wrench, that's about really the only thing you need. This one's a 24 millimeter right here. Uh, if you get yourself a drain pan and one of these fluid pumps, it makes stuff a whole lot easier, a lot less, a lot cleaner, a lot less messy but that's what you need right there to get this job done. Once you get all your stuff set up, got your drain pan ready, uh, you wanna go ahead and um, undo this plug and drain the fluid out. There's nothing gonna come out of this one. I've already had it drained because I uh, had this transmission off recently. I had to replace the slave cylinder in it. So, but if you don't do that, you're just gonna undo that plug, pull it out, go ahead and let all the fluid drain. While you're letting that fluid drain out, go ahead and uh, inspect your uh, this plug right here, the drain plug. It's got a magnet on the bottom. It's like a magnetic pickup. Picks up all the metal and stuff that grinds off the inside of the transmission while it's moving. It's pretty normal to see little metal shavings in there. As long as you don't have no real big chunks and hunks of metal, then you should be pretty good. But if you see if you if you see if it's got like a big piece clicked on there. You might have something bigger wrong, especially if it was making noises or grinding pretty good. And that's the reason why you're looking into changing it. But if not, just clean it all up. And that's all you gotta do with that one. Once you get it all drained out and cleaned up, ready to put it back in. I just tighten them about fingers tight. Take my wrench, give it about a quarter turn, that's it. You really don't wanna strip these out. They strip out pretty easy. And if you go that route, then you're gonna have bigger problems. So now we've got our transmission drain, drain cap back on nice and tight. Gonna go ahead and open the fill up. And just start pumping fluid into it until you see it spill out. So fill to spill, that's how much, that's how you know how much goes in it. All right, I just finished pumping all that fluid back in there. As you can see it now, it's how it's dripping. That right there, that's gonna tell you it's full. So we're gonna go ahead and put our cap back on. Same thing with the drain. With the fill, we're just gonna tighten it about finger tight. Put our wrench on it. And that's it. Go ahead and clean your mess up and you're all done. Pretty simple.